we're walking through my fragrance organ. Uh, my fragrance organ has both naturals and synthetics, skin safe synthetics, and people often ask how they're organized, and I like to say they're, they're loosely alphabetical. Um, I have a lot of my house blends, things that I've created uh, for the perfect collection, but without alcohol, an astrological collection that I did years and years ago with two dear friends, uh, and then I have them alphabetical mostly, and like I said, there's the synthetics, there's naturals, and then the bottom that's all messy is a uh, random, mostly naturals, resins, and absolutes. Uh, and then here on my glass desktop is the materials that I'm working on for the perfume that I'm creating today. Uh, and this fragrance, actually, I've been uh, thinking about for months. Uh, it's a very personal fragrance to me. I'm working on it as a collaboration. And uh, this fragrance is going to be called Wildfire, and it's inspired by the fires that we experienced here in November in California. Uh, so, for example, since we're talking about creation and working with the materials, uh, I always tell my students, uh, and I follow the same practice when I create a fragrance, I go through the process. I actually write a brief, which I do have here. This is my brief. You don't have to look at it too close, but you get the idea. I know exactly where I'm going. The brief is basically the roadmap for the fragrance that I want to create. I get the vision for it, the emotion, the spirit that I want it to create, to capture, truly capture. And then from there, I get the materials. I can, in my mind, sort of start smelling the fragrance. And then I know how I would compose that. Uh, and then I pull my materials. I smell each one. I feel like, is that in line with my brief? And for this in particular, since we are talking about um, fire, <laughs> we're literally talking about uh, rebirth, uh, I wanted this fragrance to talk about that experience of, of the, the burning and of the, the rebirth that comes afterward, the green. Um, you know, it's inspired by the experience um, and basically also by California, that sense of palpable opportunity that exists here in California that I was so drawn to. So in this fragrance, I have notes that capture sort of me, who I am, what I love. Uh, those are sort of represented by the jasmines, uh, the patchouli. If you know me, you know I usually put in some vanilla and patchouli someplace in a blend if I'm going to wear it. Uh, but it also has the, the ocean notes to get that salty sea of the Pacific. Uh, and it also has a hint of Cade, because if you've ever smelled Cade, it smells like burning. And I want to get that deep, smoky, resiny feel, that burnt wood, um, along with the hints of fresh cut grass for that verdant green that comes up around it after the first rain. So this fragrance that I'm working on today is obviously personal to me, but it's something that I do hope I will be sharing with you in the future. Uh, and I did want to give you an introduction to my fragrance organ and really how I start working on uh, a fragrance from the conception until the, the completion. Uh, I work on different, you can see from my formula paper, I've got the first one sort of laid out but I'll do multiple uh, submissions of it. So I'll do at least six to 10 different variations to start, see where I'm at, see what I'm attracted to, what's working, what isn't working, and then I'll go back and revise. Uh, so that's, that's my story. Um, I just wanted to give you a little introduction, a little taste to the world of perfumery here when I actually have the time to do the creative piece, which I love so much. 